<laughs> this was the one I was wondering how to answer. Who is the most difficult to work with wow. on set? Honestly, it would be... Just swipe la. Hi, I'm Simi. Today, we have the cast and director of La Luna. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raihan. I'm the writer and director for La Luna. Hi, I'm uh, Sharifah Amani and I play Hani Abdullah in La Luna. I'm Shahizi Sam, I play Salihin in La Luna. My name is Nadia Nisa, I play Yam yeah. in La Luna. And I'm Hisham Hamid playing Pa'at, Yam's most loving husband in La Luna. Not... We'll ask about that later. But to start off this interview, right, can you tell me more about La Luna? La Luna is a film about a small kampong called Bras Basa. And one day, Sheriff Amani, who plays Hani, opens up a lingerie shop. And somehow or another, this lingerie shop turns the lives of the people inside out. Why is it called La Luna? The moon? Yes, so La Luna. <laughs> You're all looking at me. Because you have the same questions as well? And yes, we all the time. So the idea is that if you go to this lingerie shop, the couples will be going to the moon and back in the evening. Wink, wink, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yes! Oh, yes, okay. Yes. Can you yes. tell us more about Honey? Honey is outspoken, Honey is kind, Honey wants to speak and stand for people who can't speak up for themselves. Totally not like Sharifa. Totally, totally not like... Very far. Nothing at Nothing all. At very all. different. Yeah. I am very docile and yeah. very quiet in real life. <laughs> Sam, how about you? I think you look very different from the La Luna looks. And what convinced you to take on this role? Because of these people. I always want to work with the best. So, Aww. these are the best. Yeah, we paid him a we bit. We paid him a bit. La. <laughs> I, the opposite of Honey. Uh, Yam is a very meek woman who is loyal. I am the husband who, who pays a lot of details and attention to my wife's um, well being and how she portrays herself. So, sometimes if. Uh, yeah lah, when, when someone you take care of a bit naughty, you have to take things into yeah. your own hand, right? He's talking about his character, right? <laughs> Correct, yeah. character, character! Yeah. Ah, Hisham Hamid is nowhere near! Yeah. Totally opposite of what I am. So this is also one of the reasons why I, I took on this role. Just now I heard about Bras Basa. So that's the name of the... Kampong. Kampong! Yes. It's also a place in Singapore. So it's a pun. Bra, lingerie, Bras Basa. No, no, I didn't see it. Hisham, <laughs> it's been a while since we should think, bro! Oops! Hey, hey, come back, come back! <laughs> So it's a pun. It's a pun. That's so interesting. Okay, uh, guys, focus. <laughs> We're gonna play some games, okay? This game is called Le Sole Lila Lum. Huh? Huh? Le Sole Lila Lum. Because of La Luna, we're gonna have some sun and moon questions. Sun is hot and spicy, so it's more difficult to answer. And the moon, basically, you can get to promote La Luna. Everyone gets to spin the wheel once. Whatever the needles lands on, they have to answer the question, but you choose from the cup. So if the needle lands on Sabo, you get to ask the person to answer the question. If it's times two, you have to answer two questions. Can we put our questions into the cup now and maybe shuffle it? I saw some of the questions and I'm like, how do I answer yes. this? Question? That's why I was like eyeing the question. The whole thing. Let's start with Rehan. Big money. Yeah. Nadia. Nadia. Can I have Please. Please, madam. Look at the board. Look at the board. It's times two. Oh, so he answers on his own. Yes. So I have to, I have to ask. I yes. Have to, oh, oh, it's a. It's a blue. The most politically correct answer is working with these people. I knew it. <laughs> but truly, every day coming to set and having them breathe life to it they stop being actors, they, be they become the characters and they make it even better than how it was like in my head. Do you call the wrong name sometimes? Uh, no, actually I call them by their names. They want to remain in character, especially the one at the, the furthest. Oh, he comes to so set so quiet, it really, really making me so nervous every time directing him. The character requires a lot of emotions and, yeah. and so I, I need to apply some method acting technique into it. So I got one more? Sun question! Sun! Is it, uh, is it? Uh, the most favourite scene is, uh, I would say, the cheekiest scene in the film. If you watch it, you will know which one I'm talking about. You mean the moon to the back? Yes, yeah, two of them went to the moon and back. Oh. Oh. It's actually the most perfect professional scene shot because we have really two actors who really respect each other and the fact that they did it so well and funny is really a testament to how good they are. <laughs> big money, big money, big money. Scully fall on my face. Oh my god! Director? Oh, me again? No lah. No. Let's spin again one more time. Ready and go. <laughs> Director? Oh! That one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, right. If you can play any character in the movie, who would you choose? They tell me that if the director chose this question, you can ask one of the actors to answer it. I will ask 
Dari Anissa? Definitely Tok Hassan. Wow, Ooh. that would be interesting. Oh, because wow. I've never given a chance to play antagonist. So do you think you will play better than? No lah. No, no lah. Definitely no, not, but it will challenge my okay. acting skill. Sam, next. Okay, come on. Come on, Sam. Hopefully Sam. Hopefully Sam. Hopefully Sam. Oh, oh. You take time, just like waste. Okay. Oh, it's a red one. Usually during our interviews, he would say that he is basically Salihin, uh, Sam's character. But I think Tok Hassan would be a challenging role for Raihan. My turn now. Why you always do sound effects? Yeah. We still have slow motion. Okay, okay. Ha! I'd say yes, exactly like myself. I have kids. So you're a protective father as well? Yeah, of course. What else? Are you romantic? Romantic. Uh, are you? Are you? Am I? No, I am I not. I have seen I you am, with your missus. You are very romantic. No la, no la. As his friends, we say both of them are very, very sweet together. Very, very My turn, right? Yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Come on! No way, guys! We're doing a solo interview here! Okay, hey, let us all oh, see. Should I sit again? Yes, yeah, please! Side, <laughs> Oops. Oh my god! Okay, here we go. Red! I do not know about funny, but in retrospect, it's funny. Uh, so, Hisham and Nadia are very professional. Throughout the whole shoot, I've never seen them talk to each other properly. Huh? Yes, they are like really like in character, so they never so really he, talk. So, yeah. he started it? I did not! Are you guys okay now? Hello? 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 <laughs> I think uh, with Hisham, his character couldn't hang out like the rest of us. I think he took it upon himself to like, okay, let's not get so close and friend, friend. But I did, I did. No, 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 I did hang out with Sam and the gang once. Once? <laughs> <laughs> but on our last day, he came up beaming and he was like, Hi guys! I finally get to talk to you guys! And it was so lovely because it was like, you could really see he really wanted to hang out. By the way, did you cry like once the director said, It's a wrap! I think once he rapped, I think the first thing he wants to do is to shave. The, the, the moustache was poking my nose already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think everyone has already picked their questions, right? How about Hisham? Hisham, have you chose yours? Maybe I'm lucky that I don't need to answer one. No, 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 okay. you have to come up. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll just take one. Yes, everyone! Ah, this was the one I was wondering how to answer. <laughs> Who is the most difficult to work with wow. on set? Honestly, it would be Tok Hassan. He is not like how he is what you guys see on screen, you know. Very serious, very dark. And yeah. He's actually a joker. And he likes to say the most ridiculous things and <laughs> it plays in your head. So when you have like close-up scenes with him and then you're reminded of what he just told you like before this and then I'm like, hey, alamak, how do I maintain this mood? You know what I mean? Wow. He is such a sweetheart, I told you. He's totally not like how you see him on screen. Thank you so much. But before we end, we're going to ask you guys to ask our audience to watch this La Luna. Okay. Nani? Nani. Huh? Yeah, I was right. Do it. If you are feeling down with how things are going with the world right now, to have a little sense of love, a little sense of unity. I think that's the best part of La Luna. We've travelled to Japan, we've travelled to Jakarta and now it's Singapore's turn and we're very happy to share it with you. And a lot of people keep saying that it's a heartwarming film. So come, join us and warm your heart with us. Don't forget to watch La Luna in Cinemas! If you like our videos, remember to like and subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell and miss out no, no more!